guys, what's up? We have the new Dark Zane event from Duel Links, but unfortunately in this event, he does not become an actual playable character. He only provides card drops along the way, so it's a case of duel him whilst you can, otherwise you risk missing out on his cards, until they eventually make him playable, which I can see ha happening within the near future. For the next... For a length of time, Zane Truesdale will be appearing in the GX world. Your goal is to duel Zane in duel missions to obtain cards. You have to duel characters in GX world to get Zane to appear. You can increase your chances by participating in the player vs player formats. As for the rewards themselves, you can get Chimera Tech Overdragon as an ultra rare. When you have dueled Zane 15 times, this is a Dark Machine Fusion level 9 with a question mark attack and defense, and it requires a Cyber Dragon and one or more machine type monsters. Its effect is, must be fusion summoned. If this card is fusion summoned, send all other cards you control to the graveyard. The original attack and defense of this card becomes equal to the number of fusion materials used for its fusion summon times 800. Each turn, this card can attack your opponent's monsters a number of times, equal to the number of fusion materials used for its fusion summon. This card can become very powerful if played correctly, often over 4000 attack, and can get rid of all your opponent's monsters, causing your opponent to lose. However, the downside of this card is, it only allows itself to be summoned, as it will get rid of any other cards, you have so is best used when your opponent is in a better position. Cybernetic Fusion Support is a secret rare that you get when you win 7 duels against Zane. This is a quick play spell card that says pay half your life points. Once if you fusion summon a machine fusion monster this turn, you can banish monsters from your hand, field and or graveyard as the fusion materials. You can only activate one Cybernetic Fusion Support per turn. This card can fuel your fusion summon by letting you access the materials from most areas, enabling you to bring out the Cyber End Dragon or Cyber Twin Dragon very quickly. Attack Reflector Unit is an ultra rare. This is gained by winning three duels against Zane. This is a normal trap card that says Tribute 1 Cyber Dragon, Special Summon 1 Cyber Barrier Dragon from your hand or deck. This is able to evolve your Cyber Dragon to a card that is very defensive but can also stop one attack per turn. This is best used in response to an opponent's attack, or to protect your life points if they have a decently strong monster on the field. The downside of this card is it can only use that negation uh, of an attack if it's in attack mode, and it only has 800 attack. Cyber Kirin is a rare, and you get it by winning three duels against Zane. It is a light machine at level 3, with 300 attack and 800 defense, and its effect is, you contribute this card to make any effect damage you take this turn 0. This is best used when you have used Power Bond as its downside effect, causing effect damage, so you can prevent it from happening, whilst enabling your monsters to have double its attack points. Cyber Barrier Dragon is a rare, and you get it by winning once against Zane without taking any damage. It is a Light Machine level 6, with 800 attack and 2800 defense, and its effect is, this card cannot be normal summoned or set, this card cannot be special summoned except with attack reflector unit. Once per turn, while this card is in attack position, your opponent's next attack is negated. This card can stop an opponent's attack, However, again, it must be in attack mode to use this effect, making it very weak if your opponent can summon two or more monsters. Lastly, Photon Generator Unit is a rare and requires you to fusion summon three times in duels against Zane. Keep in mind that you don't need to fusion summon three times in the same duel. This is in response to facing Jaden and his fusions. This is a quick play spell card that says Tribute to Cyber Dragons, Special Summon 1 as Cyber Laser Dragon from your hand, deck, or graveyard. The card uh, this summons has 2400 attack and has the ability to destroy a monster as well as still having its 
normal attack. In terms of the specific drops he provides, these include Chimeric Tech Overdragon as an ultra rare, Cyber Dragon Jui, this is a secret rare, it is a light machine at level 4, with 1500 attack and 1000 defense, and its effect is, if this card attacks an opponent's monster, it gains 300 attack during the damage step only. Once per turn, you can reveal one spell card in your hand. This card's name becomes Cyber Dragon until the end phase. This card's name becomes Cyber Dragon whilst in the graveyard. This card can become 1800 attack when it is battling, and it can make itself a Cyber Dragon, so you can use it as a substitution when summoning one of the Cyber Dragon fusions. Cyber Laser Dragon is a secret rare, it is a light machine at level 7 with 2400 attack and 1800 defense, and its effect is, this card cannot be normal summoned or set, this card cannot be special summoned except with Photon Generator Unit. Once per turn, you can destroy one monster with attack or defense equal to or higher than the attack of this card. This card is able to get rid of something stronger than this by its effect, helping to clear your opponent's field of their better monsters. Cybernetic Fusion Support is a secret rare. Cyber Repair Plant is a secret rare. It is a normal spell card that says, if Cyber Dragon is in your graveyard, you can activate one of these effects. If you have three or more Cyber Dragons in your graveyard at activation, you can activate both effects and resolve in sequence. You can only activate one Cyber Repair Plant per turn. Add one light machine monster from your deck to your hand, or target one light machine monster in your graveyard, shuffle that target into your deck. This card is able to search for your cyber dragons, as well as recover one from the graveyard to the deck. Cyber Kirin is a rare. Proto Cyber Dragon is a rare. It is a light machine at level 3 with 1100 attack and 600 defense. And its effect is, this card's name becomes Cyber Dragon whilst on the field. This card can be used to substitute for Cyber Dragon as a fusion material, or to bring out Cyber Barrier or Cyber Laser Dragons. Cyber Barrier Dragon is a rare. Photon Generator Unit is a rare. Attack Reflector Unit is a rare. What do you think of this event? Is this what you expected? And where are the Cyber Darts? If you're going to make him wear the Dark Clothes, then surely the Cyber Darts should be with him. Otherwise, you should have just had him in his normal Dual Academy uniform. Leave your comments down below, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and as always, thank you for taking the time to watch this video.